My name is Tony Visconti, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about T-verb. I'm really so honored to be part of this team that made such a great sounding plugin. Whenever I try to emulate the uh, the Bowie hero sound and uh, the vocal sound, and I did try to emulate it on Heathen and Reality, albums that we recorded much later. And I would always need a room to do that. You know, I would send the, uh, the vocal track via a speaker out into a studio and then set up the two mics and try to get the capture a room like that. But a room, a lot of real estate was involved in doing that. You need to put a compressor on the first microphone, definitely, because that's what uh, held Bowie's voice back. It's like he was using the same microphone to whisper, to sing very quietly on. And then when he would belt, he would just maybe move back an inch or two. So the first mic was heavily compressed. You know, when you see the graphic, you'll see that first microphone with uh, an invisible David Bowie. You can't, but that's the one he would have sung into. We recorded it this way the initial Bowie vocal because we ran out of tracks. Normally, like any other engineer, I would have recorded those microphones on separate tracks. But we had all 23 tracks filled and David was doing his final vocal. So the only alternative was to record everything, his lead voice and the two microphones on the only track left on the multi-track tape. And it was mono. Eventide was part of my life in its first three years of business and when I when I thought of the man who invented it it was like this guy's Gandalf he's not an ordinary human being one day I got a phone call from Gandalf himself and he doesn't disappoint when when you meet Tony and yellow in person he is Gandalf no you know all he's missing is the robe he just he wears a hoodie now but he said, how would you like to do a plugin based on, and I thought he was going to go straight to a harmonizer or something like that, based on the room sound you got on David Bowie's voice for Heroes, based on your three microphones set up, and, um, you know, take it from there. Are you, are you open to it? I said, wow, that's, that's bizarre. I mean, can you really do that? I've never really been able to do that without a room. I do have, you know, uh, plugins uh, that, that do have emulate rooms, but this concept to, to, to have the setup all on one page, I, I never saw this before, and I, I never thought it was possible. So Tony and his designers came in to speak to me about it, and uh, we, we took copious notes. We were just uh, having a uh, think tank at, at my studio here, and like, uh, we've gone this far, why don't we make it stereo? So I said, yeah, if I had two tracks, I would have made it stereo back in the day too. I love stereo. This is the best, most logical thing to do. And that delayed things quite a bit. It was going to, first of all, use up more power to get uh, three stereo reverbs in one, one plug-in. When I finally heard it, I can tell you that, you know, having worked in Hansa for several albums, that was the sound. That was the missing element. The three microphones were correct. The room is correct. And now that it's in stereo, you're actually hearing something I never got around to doing when I was in uh, Berlin.